Hey, what's going on guys? Tom Potts here back with another video. In this video, um, BBMT will be teaching you guys on how to uh, make your audio sound better in Audacity. So this is a collaboration video. His link will be down below. Go subscribe to him. He's a sick, awesome YouTuber. Uh, same thing. But yeah, go subscribe to him. He uploads the same content as me. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, enjoy this video. If we could hit 25 likes in this video, that would be amazing. As I did say, his link's down below. And yeah, guys, I'll see you next time. So let's get right into it. If I did not say subscribe already, make sure you subscribe if you're new. So open up Audacity, and once you open up Audacity, you should just go to the regular screen, which is all gray and everything, and you're going to want to record an audio. If you do not know how to like use Audacity, if you haven't used it already, this is basically the pause, this is the play, this is the stop, and this is the like go backwards, skip to the start, and this is the skip to the end, and the red circle button is to record. So you're going to record something. So when you click on the record, wait five seconds and then you start talking because in the five seconds they have some background noise which you do not want it to be in your audio. So you're going to have to wait five seconds before you start talking into the microphone. So let me go ahead and show you an example. Yo, what's good guys? BBMT here back with another video. As you guys can see, I waited five seconds before I started in talking to the microphone. And as you can see, look at all that background noise. All these little blue, I guess, squiggly lines. That's the background noise. And that's what you do not want to be in your video. So once you guys edit, I mean, once you guys record your audio, you're going to want, you're going to, want to highlight all, like, all the background noise. So like, not the audio that you recorded, just the background noise so like this. Basically, just highlight this. And once you've done that, go to Effect and go to Noise Reduction. Once you go to noise reduction, go ahead and click get noise profile, get noise profile. And once you've done that, on your keyboard, just go ahead and go into control A. And once you go to control A, it should highlight everything. Once you've done that, go back to effect, go to noise reduction, and click OK. And it should reduce the noise that's over here. After you've done that, go back to effect, go to normalize, and click OK. That will normalize the audio a little bit more. And then you have a lot more steps to do. So go to compressor. Make sure your settings on compressor is like my settings, like over here. Click OK. Go back to effect. Go to equalization. Once you go there, change the treble boost to bass boost. Make sure your settings are like mine. And click OK. Once you've done that, go back to effect. Go to equalization. Change bass boost to treble boost. Make sure your settings are like mine. And click OK. The process is almost done. Just a few more, a few more steps. Go over to normalize and click OK. Once you've done that, go back to effect. Go to hard limiter and make sure your dB limit is negative 4.0. So I'll show you what basically. So yours might be 0.00. .00. So if it's like that, just go ahead and backspace everything and put negative 4. And once you've done that, go ahead and click apply. And once you applied it, make sure it's applied and just click close. And then that should be it after that just go back to effect and normalize that's the last one and there you go now your audio should sound better this is the audio right over here so you know you could delete you could delete all this if you don't need it so you could just cut this out of the audio and then that's the audio you want and it will sound good I'm not gonna play it right now because you know you're not gonna be able to hear it because it's gonna come out of my laptop's microphone and it will just sound weird in the video so that's basically it once you're done go to file export audio and make sure you export the audio as a wave as you can see WAV Microsoft sign make sure you export the audio as that and save it the file name as whatever you want to and click save and that's basically it that's all you have to do to make your audio sound better the proper way to edit your audio in audacity thank you guys for watching make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new expect a lot of videos tomorrow because i'm going to be trying to upload a lot tomorrow thank you guys for watching again subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in my next video